my point of view is ke hum in sare algorithms ko train kaise karenge so it's a bit of my introduction i had my phd in the brain intelligence system beijing and i'm fell in robotics and the cognitive advanced psychology for robotics so this is a brief introduction of my side from me to aage chalte hain ab the point is ke ai hai kya you saw a lot of these vehicles nowadays in com autonomous not if you don't don't so if you don't mind can you please uh, have a lecture in english if you don't mind yeah sure you know, sure, sure, sure 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 i will do it yeah. बट बाकियों को अगर कोई इशू ना हो तो देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल ओवर देयर पाकिस्तान में लोगों की इंग्लिश यूके से अच्छी है मे बी सर आप इंग्लिश में भी कर लें उर्दू में भी कर लें हां ठीक है दैट्स फाइन दैट्स फाइन दैट्स गुड टोटली ओके सो एज यू सो अ लॉट ऑफ व्हीकल्स ओवर देयर इन द पाकिस्तान एज वेल एज ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड which is called autonomous vehicle nowadays how they made autonomous how you are going to made these kind of vehicles as you saw there are different sensor in those vehicle and they are much expensive that a normal person might not even able to afford but what is the phenomena behind it how they made them to learn itself to make it run by itself without a driver Google had made something like it before like uh, it was about 3 years ago the google had made the same cycle with the application but the most of the people all around the globe don't even know about this by cycle so this is how ai starts so this was a very first uh, phenomena by the google they made with the bicycle technology they use the autonomous vehicle technology in a bike so further what is the agenda of today's um, introduction class is what is actually the artificial intelligence the introduction why we are going into it what are the benefits human brain limitations because we have a human brain limitation system so that's why we are into the artificial intelligence we need to design the ai and of course there are a lot of limitations for ai as well while designing algorithms and while designing your own machines you have to be very careful while playing with the artificial intelligence because if you lack in your algorithm it may destroy the whole context so what is machine learning introduction why machine learning important what are the benefits limitations of machine learning and what is the difference between machine learning and artificial intelligence platform right now in pakistan an opportunity of machine learning in pakistan as most of us are in pakistan so we are dealing in and why machine learning with python why with the python why not 
with the R language, why not with the other, any other language? So Python is a very easiest one before you can easily pick up uh, any kind of library you want to do. Like we are going to use 14 different algorithm in this class and, uh, and more than I guess 52 different algorithms basic based on machine learning and Python as well. So let's start with the proper introduction of artificial intelligence. So what is AI? According to Google and according to a lot of people, AI is like you're going to make things that can talk itself, that can learn itself, but that's not an AI. That's an algorithm which make them to speak like there are a lot of examples all around the globe like most of you know about sophia according to a lot of people all around the globe sophia is an ai robot but it's not i'm going to prove it uh, because sophia was coded with a language which most of the people can do with the robots so ai actually what is so ai is a simulation of human intelligence process it's like you are playing with your own dendrites, neurons. So where you are going to play with your dendrites, so it process any kind of information which you need. So that's why your brain has some kind of limitations as well. Especially the computer system. While talking about the computer, computers, yes, it may work fast, but your brain can calculate thrice times in a computer system. How? but you just have to, because there are a lot of algorithms, the human made algorithms on which the computer can work easily. Just you have to make sure that you are going to put a reason for that specific algorithm you are going to design. Like, and you are going to design an expert system. So there is an algorithm which makes your system expert while there is no human over there for, to operate that system. So your algorithm will gonna operate that specific system towards that specific task. So it depends what you are going to made on. So way back in 2010, Microsoft introduced holographic lens, which was called by the HoloLens. But how your cells interact with that hologram, how you can gonna operate that hologram with the, with the help of computer vision, with the help of different algorithms, your vision actually creates a different type of phenomena in the world of algorithms as well. So there is a short introductory video how holographic material converts into your world. Like right now, Japan is working on 11D, 11th dimensions, and they worked before in 7D, and there are a lot of museums of 7D all around the globe, and they are more going to do a lot of algorithms as well. So what is holographic material? Way back in 2010, Microsoft introduced hologram, holographic lens. So here is an introductory, and then I will explain how this works with the help of different algorithms.
वो स्लो क्यों चल रही है ये तो दिस इज हाउ दे मेड टू डू दिस हैपन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंट्रोड्यूस दिस हॉलोग्राम हॉलोग्राफिक लेंस वे बैक इन 2010 थाउजेंड टेन विद हेल्प ऑफ न्यूरल इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम ऑफ डिफरेंट एल्बोरिदम्स हाउ इट वर्क एक्चुअली Your neural intelligence system actually works with the help of DNN. D DNN. It's a sort of deep learning architecture. While you are going to have something, you are going to recognize, like your human brain. You have some kind of memory, sensory memory, and there are a lot of cortex part and the other parts. So, this is how your brain gonna learn with a lot of things. it's called deep learning neural network system it's same as your brain do this is your brain and put like your eyes you are going to see now this is a hidden layer where your sensory memory your permanent memory and your temporary memory lies on it so you are going to learn things according to your sight and vision so you learn according to your experience according to the others experience which you had you have you'll have and we're going to have so it always depends what you are going to learn so holographic material completely works with the help of computer vision how it works actually there are a lot of applications where the artificial intelligence nowadays interact with computer vision as i showed you the example of computer vision robotics like uh, you have a lot of examples like vector robot like uh, way back in 2014 the robots was introduced by a small kid he was only 14 years old and he made a prototype of vector robot that robot made in england uh, oxford university students brother he designed a prototype for this robot then enki company export and import all the products like vector cosmo and they made first cosmo then they made an vector there are a lot of movies on these robots as well so communication india was the very first one who designed an algorithm in communication like they translate any kind of language when the algorithms was unstable but they were they were working and till now they are working very good programming it's python r language ruby matlab and lot more games nowadays you are familiar with the game of pubg pubg mobile uh, ea systems introduced a game like need for speed world war and uh, there are a lot more music there are only one company who's dealing in music with artificial intelligence is amazon alexa and ar rahman as well ar rahman was the very first person who introduced ai music system just you have to give them the lyrics they can easily make a tune of out of it technology as we know all around the globe we use the artificial intelligence and the machine learning as well in lot of technology like if i talk about the technology we have one of it google keyboard all day all night it's learning from you while typing your so it's it learns and the medical diagnosis there are a lot of uh, medical diagnosis institute right now like covid 19 which affects all around the globe it's actually not a virus it was an ai tissue developer create killer it was generated way back in 1985 and planted in russia so right now few months back russia made the same virus it's a biological war which we are into it so it only affects 
if your nerve systems and your immune system is very low otherwise this virus cannot affect anyone and you heard a lot of things on news that was only to make things for funding anyways ai in health system ai totally depends on the healthing system in all around the globe like here in pakistan there are more than 52 different companies are working on artificial medical systems and in canada there is only one uh, hospital who is dealing in telemedicine systems like there is a robot over there you just have to go over there say anything about your health that robot can predict your and diagnose as well your symptoms and give you the medicine so canada is one step ahead in medicine medication system now this is the first citizen robot sophia most of you know about it and most of you consider this is an ai robot but it's not i'm going to show you where she said i had a code in me to talk to you Now here, there are two things. When she said, I don't even know, then the default answer is indeed. And the second one is, she said, she never saw the black mirror. And then in the last answer, she, is com where she compared the black mirror between, and, uh, with, with another TV show. So this was a fact where there are a lot of robots lack in artificial intelligence. Anyways, there, there are a lot of algorithms who are dealing in nowadays it's it was about 2017 when the Hanson robotics show very first version of sophia and still they're calculating a lot of algorithms as well so why we are going into it right now here in pakistan we don't have that much technology but yes we do have brains we do have people who can easily make algorithms why we need it 
We need it for boundary defense. That's strange. Security, how? Healthcare, we know a little bit about it. Industry, yeah, there are armor bots and a lot of things and marketing. So these are, you don't even familiar, boundary defense, security and marketing. How are you gonna deal with all these things? Way back in 2018, MIT professor showed something towards the future of the world. Why and how? This was the footage created uh, with the TED talk, in the TED talk, and he shows something which Excuse is- Excuse me, Dr. Sorry to interrupt. Didi, Hanji. When was Sophia made? Uh, the Sophia was made way back in 2007, experimented in 2010, and showed up in front of the world in 2017. Thank you. You're welcome. So here was a drone created with the, uh, more than 50 students of MIT, and uh, this drone can kill and penetrate anyone in seconds. How it works? It's totally AI. It's flying itself doesn't even have any kind of battery. It's just flying itself. It process can react thousand times faster than a human compatriot. So how it works, let's see. So that was actual experiment conducted around Syria and a lot of places all around the globe. So this professor actually gave the power towards the army all around the American army and most of uh, Israel and a lot more. So that's why we need a boundary defense and the security protocol. And we have almost the same thing for our concern. So, point is industry. Nowadays, industry is in dealing in arm robots, huge arm, like 50 meters high. Those arm can control the cars. They made cars. Now, there are more than, I guess, uh, 10 to 15 people over there just to look after the whole industry. How the arm gonna work how they create the tank and furthermore and marketing right now more than 52 different companies around the globe who are dealing in marketing with AI and the most of it Amazon Amazon have 32 algorithms for marketing then Google AI then circle CI and the most important company is adex ai 
Adex is the biggest company for the making algorithms. So Adex AI is dealing in marketing with the help of 4,982 different algorithms in marketing. So Adex AI is much powerful than anyone else. So it's about the marketing and the game of marketing, but there are something which is important. What are the benefits? Why you are going to do all these things? So enhance efficiency and throughput. While you're having an AI with you, you just have to enhance your system. Your system will be enhanced and more powerful. Free up humans, because a human can do the best, but your machine can do the perfect. Ads on jobs, strengthen the economy. Yes, while you're having the AI system into your stock market, yes, you can predict the time of the stock market as well. Leads to loss of control. Somehow your artificial intelligence and the algorithms you are going to put into your robotic system or your system, you may lose the control. You may lose the control if your system is totally trained with the unsupervised learning. So there are three or four different types of learning as well in AI. So we are going to deal in this class with the supervised learning and unsupervised clustering only. We are not going, yes, but we study unsupervised learning, robotics, reinforcement, and the unenforced computational algorithms as well. But what we do in this class, we are just going to make a machines or different algorithms with the, with the help of different algorithms in which we are going to deal with the data, manipulate the data, clean the data, algorithms running on the data, and then we do prediction with the help of mathematical calculated algorithms. So from now onwards, you are going to need copy pencil as well. So you can easily make the notes of a different mathematical calculated algorithms as well. So, Enhance your lifestyle. Yes, there are a lot of products online available AliExpress and uh, Alibaba. So they are going to predict according to your suggestion. When you got some product, they will give you the suggestion that this product is same like you will like. Supervised learning for telemedicines. As I told you, the Canada is the only one who are dealing in telemedicines and tele robots solve complex social problems yes facebook nowadays in dealing in all these algorithms that's why facebook is more into the security stuff what are the limitations of human brain like your human brain can read more than one mb of data in just few seconds which is equal to whole encyclopedia that you can store in yourself you mm -hmm. store in your brain but why you're not even able to memorize it, why you are not even able to recall it when you need it. So it's because, all because of the loop which you have in your brain, protonic system, when your dendrites and neurons are actually collecting the data all around the surrounding, but your focus actually towards only one thing. So there are a lot of uh, limitations for human brain as well. That's why the scientist came up with an idea of AI, the artificial intelligence, which means actually artificial design brain for your neuronic systems. So what are the limitations? Synoptics company introduced, what are the limitations of your brain? trying to get our attention. To function in this complex environment, we rely on our senses, sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch, to tell us what is happening around us. This is our perception. Our senses are capable instead of all. Did you know our eyes receive over one megabyte of information every second? This is equivalent to reading an entire encyclopedia every minute. Hear a person whispering from 10 meters away, or someone shouting from 100 meters. 
less than a millisecond, just one whiff of the familiar smell can trigger a memory of your childhood. And our skin can pay for four million receptors that give us vital information about us. Senses give us so much information that our brain has developed ways to filter and unpack our thoughts on them. People with thoughts on them include angels, their arms, Asian girls who are looking at them, who are that can give us pleasure, be a reward. And those things that are unusual, interesting, or new. Sometimes people with senses add them to the computer. So actually these are the limitations for a human brain. So that's why the scientists were able to design the human AI compatriot, which is called artificial intelligence. So there are a lot of a lot more limitations as well all around the globe of AI. How it affects it affects all solutions as well. Because there are limitations where you just only give up because your automat machine also have nothing to do with that problem. So we came across with the host, the host of everything. The host of everything means to say, you are going to have a problem and the solutions as well. So it depends on, because it requires the supervision supervision somehow you're going to have like it's like a child you need to train your algorithm like your child when you have your algorithm your child can do anything according to the supervision which you taught them can think itself yes definitely your artificial intelligent algorithm can think itself because you need to supervise it you need to train it you need to give it the direction to your algorithm. Cost and maintenance, it seems very high because without machine learning, your algorithm is still gonna at high cost. Lack of creativity, while you're having only artificial intelligence, you are not going to have a creative algo which gonna help you in a lot of ways. So it depends somehow while how your algorithms may work with you and how your algorithm create a creativity for you and now it's like a machine learning so what is machine learning how are you gonna uh, learn how your machine can learn with the help of ai and what is machine learning so machine learning actually the application which you need so machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that provides the system the ability to automatically learn and improve from the past experience without being split programmed. You don't even need to program the whole of your algorithm because your algorithm is already trained with the help of AI. You just uh, need to train your machine learning algorithm. 
So it depends where your machine learning focus on the development of the computer program that can access the data and use it by, your, by itself. How? We have three kinds of machine learning, which is normally used all around the world. It's supervised learning, unsupervised, and reinforcement. What we are dealing in, supervised learning. Unsupervised learning, most of the robots and robotic company are going into this kind of learning, but most of the people and the scientists are with the supervised learning, agreed with the supervised learning and reinforcement because we need to do like uh, your machine, whatever you want to do, your machine will do it. It's not like you don't even allow your machine to go out with your kids and your robot will go out with them without any concern of yours. So that is unsupervised learning. So how are we gonna train the machine learning algorithm with the help of AI? So that, that's an algorithm which I was talking about. It was designed way back in 1703, Bayesian analysis algorithm. That algorithm was designed by Nave Bayes. So the scientist was, in 1703, he worked with the help of uh, antenna of grasshopper and cadet. So he used to told people like, if these species can predict the distance with the help of their antennas, why not the people can predict their futures with the help of some algorithms? So there arises in question, how we have a dial of 24 hours? Why don't we have a dial of 36 hours? Why don't we have a dial of 48 hours? Why don't we have a dial of something else? Why? we have only the dial of a clock of 24 hours. So that was a huge question for the community at that time. The mathematicians and astrologers, they worked a lot. Then he gave the solution why we have the clock hand of 24 hours. So we shall also uh, make such algorithm in this class in which we are going to predict the future of the thief which is going to steal something so it's a better way to teach something so actually what requires to create a good machine learning system it's like a data presentation you need your algorithm that represents your data in a good way like how you are going to represent your data because uh, why you need actually because you, you don't even know where your data had been manipulated and you don't even know how your data was manipulated. But yes, with the help of machine learning, we can deal and do and find out where your data was manipulated and where your data was changed totally. So algorithms basic to advanced, we are going to deal in automation and interactive process. Iterative processes, may help in automation but it depends what algorithm we are going to use so scalability is all over the uh, algorithms enabling modeling now while we are going to enabling models we are going to deal with some of the robotics algorithms as well and one of the best algorithm in robotics that is bug algorithm the bug algorithm can teach your robot where to start, where to go, and how many times you hit towards a wall, towards anything or like it. So it depends according to your models. So what are the benefits? If we talk about the benefits of artificial intelligence, so there are a lot of benefits for machine learning as well. It simplifies the product, marketing, and assist in accurate sale, forecast. There are a lot of examples of machine learning nowadays. And most of the example, you are going to have like Google AI, Alexa, and the weather forecast on your cell phones. The Google artificial intelligence system is not properly eradicate your cell phone because it totally depends on different algorithms with the different companies. Like if you have a Samsung cell phone, then you have a Bixby. If you have 
anything else, then there is some kind of AI algorithm with that specific company. So designed for their own phones, which facilitate curate medical prediction and diagnosis like an iPhone. iPhone have this facility in their phones. iPhone even made uh, this thing way back in 1986. The first AI jam cell phone was made by I industry. So simplifies time intensive documentation and data entry. Yes, um, only the Google is doing this thing. Improves precedence for financial rules of models and models. Like if you are working with the Bitcoins, the Google option, the IQ, I option, and a lot more application like it, they predict your shares price. They predict your stock. So that is an algorithm that can do the same thing. So it's algorithm made in machine learning, which learns from your previous data, current data, and will predict your, your future. So it depends. Easy spam detection is only uh, do for the Gmail as well now, nothing else. Increase the efficiency of predictive maintenance. Yes, it's an important thing because Hanson Robotics, Envy, Kiwi, and one more industry is Star Labs. They are dealing in the same products of AI. So better customer segmentation, most of the uh, industries are doing the same thing. Um, the biggest industry is in India, Amazon, and uh, the other one is buy it. So they are dealing in the better customer segmentation. Recommending the right product, Google, YouTube, AliExpress, Alibaba, and a lot more are doing with the same algorithm. It's the only algorithm who predicts like Navebase and it includes sigmoid function and the other function is entropy the entropy helps you to conclude your prediction and your sigmoid and with the help of uh, sigmoid function you are able to predict on your way so limitations when we talk about the limitation of machine learning yes there are many Machine learning algorithms requires massive stores of training data. You need to do a lot of training for your algorithm. Without an AI, you need clusters of training of data for your algorithms, machine learning. Labeling training data is a tedious process. Yes, if you already have a label data, then why you are using the machine learning? So there is no need to use a machine learning if you already have a label data because you already know the answer what you are going to deal in. So machine cannot think, ex cannot explain themselves. Yes, of course, without, without AI, machine learning cannot explain itself. Machine, machine learning algorithm not even able to close to explain itself. An AI algorithm does not collaborate without a proper concern. If you are going to use machine learning algorithm for facial recognition and you are going to predict the face of the person, you don't even need the AI algorithm because it already happened in machine learning. So it depends what AI algorithm you are going to use and what AI algorithm you are going to have. So AI algorithm cannot even collaborate without your proper participation. The most important point in AI, that is the, what is the difference in these two? How we are making a difference in these two? So when we talk about an AI system, the aim is to increase the chance of success not the accuracy. Your AI cannot even think for accuracy. It always do for the success. Your algorithm is going to do work properly. That's an AI. 
if we talk about an accuracy, then we have to deal in machine learning because the machine learning is increase the aim of accuracy, not success. So when they combine together, it works. Accuracy and success both at the same time. Then it works as a computer program that does smart work. So AI is there, which actually works smart, which actually work properly integrated towards your environment. While machine learning, it's simply concept, takes data, learn from it, and deliver to you. It never predicts what's going on, what will be happen in future. It only train data, learn from it, and keep it. So the basic difference is AI is a decision making while machine learning allows your system to learn new things from data which you already have. So machine learning require data. Your AI already have a decision making power. When it combines together, then we say it's an artificial intelligent machine or robotics or anything else. What would you like to call it? So it's totally your precision, your call, your data, and your algorithm. And one more thing we are going to make, <coughs> I'm sorry, we are going to make our own algorithm in this class. Because algorithm, you think the algorithm making is a very difficult thing, you need or require a lot of experience to create an algorithm, no. You just need to think for a few seconds then you can create any kind of algorithm, any kind of machine you want to create, you want to make. So the basic of my concern is you are able to make your own algorithms while you're going to into the market for your concern. You have your own algorithms, which makes you the face of the, of the market. So which feels you great as well. So here in Pakistan, there are a lot of companies, Nextbridge, Microsoft, Innovative Solution, Lego, UET, and ITC are dealing in huge machine learning algorithms and a lot more. So let's talk about the programming, the Python, why we are dealing in Python. So what you need is the PyCharm. And if you already have an Anaconda, then kindly delete your anaconda environment because your anaconda environment will gonna disturb you in a lot ways because anaconda is totally for the data analysis for the data perception perception prediction and a lot more but here you are going to deal in the real time programming here you are going to deal in real time data manipulation here you are going to deal in real time accuracy of your data so what you need is the pycharm it's the community version that is two point uh, community version. So you just have to go towards the Google and just have download PyCharm. You have a link over here for PyCharm. You just have to download the community version, nothing else. Community version you need, and as well as you need Python. For machine learning, you need to download 2.7.17 for machine learning. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, you can go with it. Or if you are, if you have a system more than say eight GB of RAM then you, are, you can download 3.8.2. Yes, Hassan, you can ask. Basically, we were going to the side of the coding, so I have a question related to the question. Okay. 
तो अभी सबने अभी हमने लिमिटेशन में पढ़ा था ए से रिलेटेड और मशीन लर्निंग से रिलेटेड कि इसमें डाटा स्टोरेज का काफी इशू है लिमिटेशन में हमने उसको देखा था और जबकि अभी हमें करंट में जो जितनी टेक्नोलॉजी इंप्रूव हो गई है तो अभी हम डाटा को काफी हद तक स्टोर कर सकते हैं तो इसको हम एज आ इसका साइड इफेक्ट ले ले या डिसएडवांटेज ले सकते हैं और कोई ऐसी चीज हो जिससे हमें सर्च करने के बाद इनको पता लग गया हो गया इससे आगे हम नहीं जा सकते जैसे कि ह्यूमन ब्रेन में है कि हम लॉट ऑफ डाटा स्टोर नहीं कर सकते एक खास टाइम के बाद हम उसको भूल जाएंगे तो इसमें किसी तरह कोई एआई में या मशीन लर्निंग में कोई इस तरह की लिमिटेशंस है कि जिससे आगे अब हम नहीं जा सकते या कोई करंट में इसका कोई नहीं नहीं मैं आपके बात समझ गया हूं लेकिन ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है एआई के अंदर यू कैन इवन स्टोर 8000 पेटाबाइट ऑफ डेटा इन जस्ट 1 सेकंड 8000 petabyte data it means ki you have 25 years of data and you have that data continuous form not in discontinuous in continuous form actually uh, the data you are going to deal in it's not limited so i don't know ki where you had that thing kyunki artificial intelligence mein aapke paas na data limited nahi hai मैं अगर आपको एक एग्जांपल दिखाता हूँ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू एन एग्जांपल ऑन गूगल कैगल आई ऑलरेडी वन टू ऑफ द प्राइस इज इन कम्पीट एंड वन इज दैटैनिक मशीन लर्निंग डिजास्टर दैट वाज अबाउट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड डॉलर आई वन एंड द अदर वन इज आई टुक चैलेंजेस डीप डिटेक्शन चैलेंजेस दिस डेटा कंटेन मोर देन फोर थर्टी ऑफ डेटा and you're going to have almost 10 lakh dollars if you're in the good team it's a deep fake fake faces data what is it these people not even born not even came to the earth not even have a real face but they have voice they have visuals they have their social media accounts they have their bank accounts as well so google had created this kind of data to make and to gather researcher all around the globe to think what is actually data you are going to deal in so it's all the fake people so you just have to recognize how much fake they are because they have their voices connected to someone else they have their visual and facial recognition which is connected to uh, to someone else right now there was an algorithm uh, made in china that algorithm was only aap jaise mere jaane ka that um, was made in china and that the algorithm name was circular ring ray the algorithm was introduced by mr hong won and according to him he was able to predict the facial recognition in china japanese and korean but according to my precision and my working over there in china we are not even able to close to prediction of the chinese faces chinese korean and japanese face test actually they failed after few researches we are not even close to recognize who is chinese who is japanese and who is korean and we don't even recognize their faces as well we don't even predict we don't even have the facial recognition system for their faces because they all are alike so facial recognition system had a bad fail in china so they introduced circular ring ray algorithm that algorithm can go beyond the limitations of your eyeball your iris your face and a lot more your facial features but that algorithm failed again actman he introduced the action unit way back in 19th century it's always like a uh, in 1932 he designed a facial action unit for the people all around the world especially for chinese and japanese so according to him we have almost 164 units on our faces and each and every unit of every person is totally different we don't even have the same facial recognition of facial matches so he failed in 1982 then an other uh, person it was named as 
Siren. He, he used to be work at the MIT lab. He died last year, unfortunately. So he introduced 258 facial action units on our faces. It's an advanced application for Ackman and Ackman theory. So according to him, we have 256 facial recognition portion on our faces, which we need to recognize the face. That's why there are a lot of application improve their facial recognition algorithms and we are able to design our own 3D matches as well. So while talking about the limitation of data, sorry to say, but we don't have any kind of limitation of data in the machine learning because we have Google Colab, Kaggle, like here we are, I'm going to download our data, then I will show you the manipulation between the data. Like uh, this is one GB, 123 MB, like this is uh, COVID-19 data sets, okay. It's all about 380 KB. It's easy to upload at anywhere. So I'm going to show you how this data was manipulated with the companies. Okay, so we have, so here we have a PyCharm. I'm just going to make a machine of mine. And I'm going to show as like, put a name of it, like CVID 19, and going to put the tick mark on the both environments because I need each and every environment for my whole products as well. So, and I'm going to, like my interpreter here is 3.9. As I showed you, like if you have a Macintosh or advanced system, and your RAM is more than 16 GB, then you can easily download 3.8 or above version. If you have a 4 GB of RAM or 6 GB of RAM, then you are good with the 2.7 version. It's good for you as well because your system will not going to be slow down because this machine learning stuff going to make your system hang a little bit. So it happens. So in our terminal, I'm just going to clear it. Now I'm going to connect with my Python console. Like it shows me like there is no directory in my virtual system. So I'm just going to change the virtual system of mine. So I can add up the interpreter, which I need to add. So I'm going to COVID-19, the interpreter. See, it is corrupted. So I'm going to add 2.7, the base interpreter for my task. So I'm going to apply it and okay with it. And it's working in module. You just have to complete, you just have to wait for your indexing and updating. Because once it updates, it will never create any issue with your programming. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of issues with your coding material. We just wait for the processing. In meanwhile, I'll help you with the Kaggle. You just have to make an account on Kaggle because you need to download the data. And as well as you have to be familiar with the Google Colab. Like if you don't have a system that is much powerful, like 16 GB of RAM and the processor, then we are going to have a virtual machine over the Google Colab. It contain over 64 GB of RAM and almost uh, four GB of space. So it will help you in a lot of ways. If you need a GPU, if you need any kind of uh, graphical unit interface, it will help you down. Same as the Kaggle. So Kaggle will help you down as well in the same scenario, but it contain only 12 GB of RAM and three GPUs, one TPU, which makes you allow to work with the 30 hours in a week and that 
me did a lot of things as well. So this is your collapse system and the other one is Kaggle and this is your PyCharm. So now I'm going to connect with my Python console and it doesn't allow me still now. So I'm going to restart it to make it sure that I'm going to connect with my Python console. Okay, I'm good to go with my Python console. This is my Python console. I'm just going to drag my data in this one. We are not going to touch this environment, virtual environment, because it, if you do, your system will gonna work automatically and you don't even have any control on your system if you do that thing. So I'm going to add my data over my machine. Okay, until, it, okay, okay, okay. I'm just waiting for, uh, it said, you just have to wait for the indexing. As I told you, just we have to wait for the indexing because it collects each and every environment material which you're gonna need in this particular environment. So I'm going to add it again. And it's adding. Okay, now I have my data inside of it. First, I have to look through it by double clicking it so it's not properly readable and I don't even know where the data is being manipulated. Okay, my system stuck, okay, I'm going to go. So here I just have to add few libraries I'm going to have. It's pip install ipython first. Why we need an ipython? Because we are going to deal with the machine learning stuff or the stuff we don't even know before. So it will help you and give you 16 different libraries for machine learning as I already have these libraries. Then pip install pandas. This will help you to visualize your data and to make sure that your data cannot be captured. Jizakriya, you have a question to ask? Anyways. And then we are going to add pip install numpy. You already, uh, most of you already knew about these libraries, which is important in machine learning. But to be honest, these two libraries will only help you in a few things. Nothing more. So I'm going back to my Python console and I'm going to import pandas as pd. So I'm going to read, I'm able to read my data. That's it. I'm able to read my data and going to find the data frames. Here I'm going to find the frames in my data. So I'm able to recognize where my data had been manipulated, changed or deleted. So we can do each and everything with these kind of libraries and coding. Yes, it may take a little time to get the whole thing into the library. Okay, uh, interactive backend, turning interactive backend on. Okay, so it's collecting the data. Uh, I can do AI on machine learning. I didn't get you. You are a Laravel developer, so I can do it. Yes, you can easily do because it doesn't require any programming skill. It only requires your thinking, how you interact with the environment, how you think about the system as well. So it's going into an algorithm and it's going to take a little bit more. So I'm going to add import numpy as NP. Okay, so it's gonna be take 10 seconds. Wow, it's taking too much long while in processing. That's why in machine learning you need a heavy clustered machine for your 
machine learning. And if you don't have, it doesn't matter because we are going to deal in the same thing here, like import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, and read it. Here we are able to see the collection and a lot more things for our processing in the data. So I'm just going to cancel these communicators so I can easily process my data over here. Or I'm going to restart my PyCharm. Okay, I'm going to restart it. And here I'm able to read it as well. So data frame is equals to pd dot read underscore csv and i'm going to add the path of my csv here so i have a data already in my google collab you already have a data in this collab system so i'm just going to add the path so i'm able to read my data So here I'm able to read my data. So I'm going to show what I have in my data. So DF head. So this is my data in this repository. So I can easily have my data in which this is how longitude, latitude, housing, median, age, total rooms, total bedrooms, population, household, median income, and median house value as well. Here my system once again started. So I'm going just to have a quick way like pandas as, so here I'm able to find the data frames because nowhere I'm going to have my data frame. So df data frame is equals to pd dot read underscore csv. I'm going to have the data frame which I look at here, uh, we just, I just only have a special variable. So I'm going to have my data frames. So I'm going to add it as it is. Here I have, now I'm having the data frames within my environment. So here you can see this whole environment is in red. Is in red. I'm just going to have a quick representation of my data. So I'm going to add dfin info. So you see where I can collect my data. This is at access columns. So here we have a data which easily can be collectible. This is my data which I got from here. Here I can collect the data. So this is where the first data had been manipulated in whole data frame. Why? Do you find the reason as well? The country series, you all have whole country out of the data only. So here is an array data. This is how the data was manipulated and one and zero was added. Because in real data, we just have zero, not even one properly. 13, 5, 2, 3, 13, 5, 2, 3, 13, 5, 0, 1, 2. It contains each and everything, 2, 5, 0, 2, 5, 0. But at reality, what you got, your data had been manipulated many times. So this is how you can represent your data in a proper way. If you're going to find a series of data, then you have it like in indexing. Here you have a different series of your data, numbers and columns. Here you have a deep flow or D type the object and 
then you're going to have your description how your data have the informations so the 25 percent of your data is based on so there are total zero deaths zero death in 25 zero death in 50 percent zero death in 75 percent but maximum deaths are 5150 how is even that possible so your covid 19 the COVID-19 data the US had given to us that is manipulated. Why? Because there are 25% of data, this much of population, and there is no casualty. Not even a death. So 50% not a death. 75% we have only 19 cases and no one is dead. And maximum we have 87,028 cases and 5,150 5, died. How is that even possible? Like how they made up these deaths. Anyways, that was the manipulated data. They uploaded on Google. Here is the manipulation formula. You can easily get. So that's why I recommend the PyCharm so we are able to find out the data frames, what kind of data frames we are going to deal with. Each and every data frame you can easily track down, you can easily pull out, you can easily have the access of each and every data frame of yours, each and every data frame. So each and everything can be given in the form of these frames. So this is a way you can easily find out your data frames, your data, your manipulated data, and your trigger data. Trigger data is the data where your data can have an access to the reality, but you are not even able to close it. Like this is how they made the data, date, country, state, flip, cases, and deaths. But while in the reality, we just only got flip cases and deaths, nothing else. But there are five different columns, but in reality, there are only three. So five different columns was made up with some kind of formula, with some kind of manpower, with some kind of anything. What we have, it's flip cases and deaths, but in reality, it's death, cases, flip, state, country, and date. So there are six different columns. In real data, we have only three. But in the data we just downloaded from Kaggle, it shows us there are six columns, but only we have three columns in our data. So this is how actually we are going to deal with the machine learning. It's just a two different statements which helps you to diagnose where your data had been lacked. So it's DF shape. So your total data is 45,880. So how that is able to find how many people do we have? This is your real data counted. How it's count like 4,000 524, but there are total cases is 45,880. How is that even possible? Deaths are into the same data, but we have only 45,254 in flips. So the data is manipulated. So as you see, there are six columns and this much rows. But how? they are able to find 56,000 people over 45,000 people. So here, your data had been manipulated. Here, your data had been in a wrong way. Excuse me? Yeah. What, what are fibs? fibs? What is fibs? What is? Fibs. 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 Fibs are the people who are infected with the virus. Okay, infected. Infected with virus, but not actually cases, 
uh, not actually admitted in hospitals. Thank you. Thank you. So how this data can, came up with 56,043 people. So that's, that's where the data had been manipulated with the people. So this, we are going to deal in this machine learning class. And most of the time we are going to make our own algorithms like this, like that. We're going to define df and it's like if df equal equals to, data frame is equal equals to 29,454, sorry, 56, print df or else I'm going to have return statement df dot head. So the data accordingly, the data changes. Here we have a cases right now, and this is our fake data. This is our fake data, which was never entered properly. According in actually in your data set, there are a lot of things which is only be predicted with the help of machine learning. Nothing, not, not, no other algorithm can help you in it. So this is the fake data, which doesn't contain any kind of information. Like it shows me the future warning as well. Like the future warning series dot data is depicted and will be removed in the future version. Okay. So this is the fake data manipulated with any kind of machine or something else. This is array, the array of zero and one. The scientist who made this kind of data had tested this data many times. And why they put all these fake variables into it? Because they don't even need that people can study the actual figure of this virus. This is false. See, you can easily find each and everything from the given equation, the given formula you can give it. Even you have your fake data, even we can do the analysis of our fake data. Like uh, how are we going to do is like, I'm going to add this copy and Uh, Zakria machine language, it's something like you, like a human can understand. The assembly language is where you only deal with the backend programming, the backend dollar sign, like conditions, like your machine can easily pick that, that condition. So it uh, also conclude with the binary operators as well. While in Python, you just need to communicate with your system and with your algorithms, that's it. While in assembly language, you even uh, go beyond the limitations of machine because you need to train your machine according to your Windows or operating system environment because actually you are, are writing in operating system. You're writing in the language where your operating system can easily understand your words. So it's a bit more like a binary or a machine language or machine code. So it's, uh, it was called by the Frankenstein computing language designed in 1986 and conclude right now they are working in some kind of quantum computing with the P hash, the Python hash language. It's also work with the quantum computers uh, nowadays because with the help of quantum physics, we are able to design a black hole into the computing and artificial environment where we can study the effects of black hole and as well as the effects of future machines towards mankind. So there are a lot of difference in assembly language and machine language. So here we have a fake data which we are dealing in. So I just copied it and just going to put the reference of this fake data in another function, so I'm going to write the fake one, and I'm going to have this 
okay uh, fake and data frame of fake so copy is equals to cop copy dot head and I'm going to do it with the self command okay self and self dot return the copy commands okay so this is how i collect the data from the base and the copy command give me the flag where whole of my this data had been copied on data that is copied in the form of 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 because it's a fake data so it only contains zero itself nothing else so I just convert it and the real one is this. Here we have a data out of it, which is almost close to the real one, not a real one, but close to it. I'm just going to have to reshape it and going to make something like reshape DF self dot PD underscore underscore read equals to self dot main return self and uh, here I'm going to have a class oh no 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 define cl df is a function of cl what I'm going to do is to just to figure out where the data actually start with the manipulation. I'm just going to add self dot return. Okay, so this is a way where my data actually starts in the manipulation way. So there is nothing with the monotonic Boolean variable in whole of my data set. So here are the axes I added. These are the same data. And we have a frame of data. Here we go. Date, country, state, flip, FIPS, cases and deaths. So this is the death part. There is no one dead according to the given data set. Here is the one which was manipulated over the seven cases in California. So this is one, zero, 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 zero. So this is how I got the data out of, this is a fake one, NAN. There is no FIPS, then how they put 20 cases. So, this is how you are going to find what had happened with your data and how you are going to find. And how. the next step is just you have to clean the data and find your prediction algorithms as well. So, by tomorrow, we are going to deal with the prediction algorithms, but with the basic of machine learning as well. Because from tomorrow, we are going to add up some information in machine learning. There are some theory part as well, and as well as the coding part, and the mathematics too. So for tomorrow, you just have to make sure that you have a PyCharm, Python, Interpreter, 2.7.17 if you have a Windows system, and if you have a Macintosh or Linux, then it's good to go with the 3.8 point something or 3.7.17. You need to add up the information uh, like uh, I'm going to put through with something with attendance. So you can easily mark your attendance as well or you already, I already sent the attendance marking on it. 
So there are a lot of applications you are dealing, like this is the data. But in Google Kaggle uh, Collab Machine, we are not even able to uh, find out the frames. We are just even add up the information and. Excuse me. Yes. Dr. Sub, could you give the steps to us about like a list of the steps? Do you have any uh, like a manual where they can follow the guideline? First, they need to download download the Python or PyCharm or yes, yes, like yes, yes. Thing, how to follow the steps one by one. Yeah, sure. Well, Why not? They have written the uh, what you mentioned about the different details. However, any handout where you could mention about follow these guidelines and this is the basic example they can run. And yes. by running the basic example, they make sure uh, their basic infrastructure of the Python is uh, running up and running. Yes, they will have the notes as well in the WhatsApp group and uh, they will have each and every uh, step by step inter, uh, instruction, how are you gonna deal with the Python and how are you gonna make a simple program run on your Python interpreter as well. Excellent. And is on the WhatsApp or is on the email? WhatsApp group, do you have a WhatsApp group or we need to ask the group which has been made? Uh, you don't have a, uh, you all, uh, it's a Python 9 group, I guess. Uh, you are not even added into that group? Yes, no, I know we are not. Okay, I'm just going to, uh, do you have your cell number? Then I'm going to let the yeah. dynamic coordinator know that you have, yeah. they have to add you. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Uh, four, four. Double four. Uh, seven, eight, five. Seven, eight, five. Four, zero, one. Four, zero, one. Three, eight, six, zero. Three, eight, six, zero. And another number is zero, zero. Just give me a second. It's like, uh, Zero zero, double four, seven eight five, seven eight five. No no sorry seven, sorry seven five nine, seven five nine. What is my name? Seven five. Sorry seven five one nine. Seven five one nine. Triple six. Triple six. Zero zero four. Zero zero four. Okay. I'm going to add. I'm going to tag the dynamic coordinator so they can add you in the WhatsApp group so I can easily send the step by step in so instruction towards you so they can easily download the PyCharm as well. First, they just need to download the Python. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays they should have a time so uh, they can download this evening and they can follow the steps on it yes, and yes, then yes, yes. they can read and move forward according uh, what system do you have it's the uh, macintosh or have, windows uh, yes they have a one macbook and other is the microsoft hp uh, okay so what they are going to use a mac or hp uh, well, one uh, one is using mac yes okay so for the mac you are going I to i think uh, they already installed last week yeah. this python <laughs> which python they installed 3.8.2. 3.8.2. Okay, that's good. That's totally good. And for Windows? You don't know that now? Yeah, they can, they can follow the steps, whatever steps okay, is given okay, in the okay. WhatsApp group. I can help them or the mom can help them to download, print out that. And they can follow the manual and they can go through one by one again. Okay, good. It's good to know because, yeah, because maybe in may, maybe some of your team member they are senior in programming, but they are they are young, so they are not senior. But with with the help of hard work, they can cop up and they can be. Inshallah, why not? Why not? Yeah. They are they are, they will be. So, but I'm but I'm glad your lecture is very simple and comprehensive. They are really enjoying, but definitely is new for the children. They definitely once they type their own they make their own program, they get some output. Can I ask you one question if you don't mind? Sorry yeah, sure. for that. 
Sure. I'm, I'm not taking the other people time. So once, for example, when you're Python, do you have any like artificial intelligence? Do you have any plan as an example to make a video game on it or to make a, like a car racing game by using this, these classes or you have some other examples available for that? I have my own examples that I had created a system which to recognize artistic people and the working with the human intelligence system. So my work was totally with the neurons, dendrites, and uh, the brain part. And brain part. so uh, most of the classes I used to go through with the neural networks and design with, came up with the idea with uh, like uh, the recognition okay. system and mm -hmm. autonomous vehicles and robotics arm. Um, so okay. robotics, robotics arm, yes. Uh, recently because because i'm i'm thinking about because sometime if you have a, some goal because their children know especially oh, at the end of the time they know how to design a robotic arm so it it, it will be a like a motivation for the yeah, sure. learner yeah sure why not i will let them know each and everything about the robotic arm so i will give because each and every class at the end of the class they have to submit the project which okay. given in the class, so it depends okay. which if, product. If, yeah, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, after the class, can I have a chat for two minutes? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, because a lot of people are here, so I don't want to take everybody time. Yeah, sure, why not? So uh, you can easily chat, and uh, that's uh, not an issue with me. So according to today's lecture, it's going to be like, uh, it is going to download. A few things like PyCharm and Python, so we shall start proper coding and the proper lecture with machine learning afterwards from tomorrow. So if you have any question, then you can easily ask and I'll give you my email as well. Because if you don't have uh, the WhatsApp. If you have a email, no, I have a WhatsApp. No, no, so uh, you... I'm talking about other people who are actually, <laughs> it's for all of the people. Like, sure. can I have your a WhatsApp number? Yeah, sure, I have. I'm zero going to. Zero two. It's uh, zero triple three. Triple three. Uh, four seven four seven. Seven four seven. Six two seven. Because my major concern is about the neural networks, robotics, and the robotic systems. So that's why I never came up with the idea of a game. Okay, no, I, I can understand. I can. But yes, because I'm, I'm only thinking about because if, like, for example, there is a fascination for learning, if at the end of the day, because I remember one of the gentlemen was telling me, like, I at the end of five lecture, uh, the my like the you can get to design the video game like a trees, car, and everything through using the Python and this language. But your goal is definitely to the robotics arm and all these things. This is also a fascination. At least they learn something, then they can do whatever they can do further research. Yeah, sure, it will be. Uh, but if they are in, more interested into a gaming stuff, then yes, I will guide them how to design an a game in Python, but that will be in basic of Python, the core Python, not in machine learning, not with artificial intelligence. They just they just going to deal with the Python language only. <laughs> That's fine. They can go step by step, which is fine as well. They can continue your class exactly, exactly. To their pace or their pace, and and uh, during the class or uh, at the end of we can discuss. Inshallah, why not? Why not? Because honestly, it's very difficult. I can try my best or mom to sit with each of them. So then, uh, definitely, they will feel free to ask me direct the question. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, uh, for today's session, I'm going to uh, end it. And if most of the people may join the classes, and if you are not even able, Walaikum Assalam. सर मैंने पूछना था ये पाइथन हम बिल्कुल बेसिक से स्टार्ट करेंगे या फिर जैसे आप लेकर चल रहे हैं जैसे अ फ्यू थिंग्स व्हिच इज गोइंग टू डील इन बेसिक मतलब बेसिक में हम कुछ चीजें स्टार्ट में करेंगे ठीक है कि बेसिक पाइथन क्या होती है इस पे कौन-कौन से एल्गोरिथम्स लिखे जाते हैं लाइक असाइनमेंट्स होगी कुछ जिसमें हम पाइथन कर रहे होंगे 
फिर हम डेटा साइंस वाली साइड पे आएंगे कि डेटा साइंस क्या होती है डेटा साइंस में पाइथन कैसे लिखी जाती है इट्स टुडेस क्लास इज जस्ट अ डेमो हाउ वी गोना डील विद द डेटा जी जी ठीक ठीक है चलेंगे हम बेसिक से ही कि स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ यू गोना मेक योर ऑन आपने एक डेमो दी है कि इस तरह काम करेंगे हां इस तरह काम होगा इट्स अ जस्ट अ बिगनिंग ऑफ अ लेक्चर हाउ वी गोना डील विद द डेटा फर्दर वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ रिकॉग्निशन सिस्टम डीप लर्निंग सिस्टम एल्गोरिथम्स सो इट्स जस्ट अ डेमो व्हाट विल गोना हैपन इन दिस क्लास थैंक यू मोस्ट वेलकम so if you have any question regarding uh, sir mere paas na windows hai 4 gb ram hai to usme specification aap mujhe bata dijiye taaki main install kar le windows aur 4 gb ram hai then uh, i guess aapke paas dell ka system hai ji ji okay the karne ki isme koi zarurat nahi padegi aapko ye aapko bas is pe पाइथन बस इंस्टॉल कर लेना है देन यू जस्ट हैव टू डाउनलोड द पाइथन लेकिन पाइथन आप डाउनलोड करोगे 2.7.17 इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं 2.7.17 पाइथन कम्युनिटी वर्जन है पाइथन तो जेनेरिक है ऑफिशियल प्रोफेशनल नहीं करना प्रोफेशनल इज फॉर द वेब डेवलपमेंट यू जस्ट हैव टू डाउनलोड द कम्युनिटी वर्जन सो यू कैन इजीली कम्युनिकेट विद द पाइथन एंड पाइथन गेट टुगेदरली तो ठीक है ये हम इसमें इसको लेके चलेंगे सो जो फर्दर हमारे पास जो सारी चीजें होंगी वो ये होंगी कि हाउ यू गोना डील इन द बेसिक्स ऑफ पाइथॉन बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन योर मशीन एंड एज वेल एज ऑन योर स्टफ विच यू आर गोइंग टू डील इन द पॉइंट ऑफ माई कंसर्न इज योर सिस्टम मे फैक्ट योर स्पीड ऑफ योर laptop may affects your thinking power and sometimes it may affects the algorithm which you are going to deal in because the algorithm is a major part the algorithm which you which we are going to have is a major part how are we going to deal in it like i will show you a basic example of an algorithm which we are going to have in our class like IMDb. How that IMDb is able to predict the ranking of a video. So that's this Nave base classifier, which was designed way back in 17th century. He was the he designed with on Grasshopper and the Kidit. So he's a he was able to. predict the distance these grasshopper and kidit was able to predict the distance in miles with the help of their antennas and a lot more so we are going to use this algorithm as well which was designed in 1707 when he used to be only the kid and we have a lot more algorithms as well like regression model and machine learning algorithms as well so imdb you are going to have how that imdb is able to predict automatically the rating of video how your stores how you are going to predict the household so there are a lot of example we are going to deal in this class as well so this is it the session of today so if you have any question then you have a whatsapp group so you can ask at any time if you don't even uh, add into the whatsapp group then uh, you can uh, ask the dami coordinator so she will add you in to that group and ask the management to make sure that uh, they can add you in this group so this is uh, it for today's session so tomorrow we'll see you again at the same time and of course the same channel and same platform till then take care of yourself and allah hafiz and if you have any query and a question you'll ask on whatsapp at any time <laughs>